Welcome back, you guys. I know that I've been kind of absent when it comes to like the yoga, the workout aspect of life. That's just because I've been practicing and um, mastering the nutritional side. Uh, henceforth, all the recipes that I have. So don't forget to check it out, you guys. Vanitylife.com, just go to the 101 okay and there's a list of vlogs of recipes all kinds of stuff okay so don't forget to check it out also subscribe subscribe now okay so my new found cool thing resistance bands okay they are so amazing like literally I took these to work um, which some of you guys know I travel a lot so sometimes it's really hard to go to the gym because there's no LA Fitness, or maybe um, the hotel doesn't have one, I don't know. These have become like my favorite thing. Now, what I'm gonna be focusing on, as always, the, the tushy. Um, also, it's kind of the hip area. Um, you know, little booties, small girls like me, like very petite. Um, one of my like, insecurities I guess not really insecurity kind of but you know it was like my hips because I'm so small so I've been doing this exercise and it's literally like I I see a difference like I'm not even joking and that's why I love these so I'm gonna show you about like three four exercises that I do for the thighs and the hip and the booty area okay and these were like ten dollars like you could find them anywhere so yeah so there's usually three different colors. Um, I believe most of the purple ones are kind of like the most resistant. So, um, and I think the blue one is the least, no, pink is the least resistant. So this is like five, this is like 10, this is like 15, okay? Um, I'm gonna start off with purple, just because, you know, I like a challenge. Now, the only thing about these specific resistance bands is I'm not a fan of the rubber. The only reason why is because they roll up. So, just my personal opinion. Okay, so usually you want to put them like right above the knee, not like in the middle. I mean, but each, each exercise has a different way of doing it. So make sure you pay attention to the placement. Okay, cool. So, my favorite one, can you guys see me? Okay, my favorite one, honestly, is this one. You now make sure your arms out to the side. You're gonna hip thrust, and then you're gonna ah, pussy pop down. Hip thrust, pussy pop. Oh, and you should really like feel it here. Oh. oh Lord. This one I call the donkey dog. The donkey dog world. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, also, before you start this one, make sure it's, it's like up a little higher. So kind of like the middle of your thigh. So we're going to donkey. And then we're gonna dog. And then we're gonna donkey. And then we're gonna dog. And then we're gonna uh. And then we're gonna. Oh, can I feel that one? Other side, donkey. And then we're gonna dog. And try to keep your leg like. You see how mine's like kind of like a L? I guess yeah. Try to keep it like that. Don't don't do not do this. See? So this is what I like doing. And, but you keep it simple, you know, keep it simple. You step back, and then you go one, two, three, four. Okay, another leg. And take your time when you do this. You don't have to go as fast as I do. I just want to get it over with. 
Um, okay, another one is kind of gonna like your squat, but pay attention to my feet because you're gonna squat inwards and then you're gonna open your legs and squat outwards. Squat inwards, squat outwards. Oh, and you can really feel the pull, like. Oh, yeah. Um. Another one, super simple. These are actually what I do in the gym. And it really targets that, that dip pit area. That already, huh? Yeah. Mm. See, it works. 